Well, first of all, I think it'd be useful to define the near shore. And most people think of the near shore just as the beach, that part that's exposed and then covered by the tides. And most of us now think a little more broadly than that from a more of an ecological standpoint. We're thinking now about the top of, or the upper limits being the top of the bluff. So if you've got a beach and a back shore and then you've got a bluff, those things that are growing on the bluff that fall down into and onto the beach, trees, mudslides, sediment, and so forth. It's part of that system. So you define the near shore as the top of the bluff, the back shore, the beach itself, and then down to underwater, what we call the lower limits of the photic zone. That's the lower point where things like eelgrass, kelp, seaweeds, and so forth grow when there's enough light. And depending upon where you are in the sound, that's anywhere between 15 to 30 feet deep. So it's a band around the edge of Puget Sound, Willow Pond, and so forth. That is from the depth of the photic zone up to the top of the bluff. It's huge. The thing about the near shore is that it's the boundary between the uplands and the ocean. And so everything that happens in either one of those goes through the near shore. So all the water that runs down from the rivers and from the runoff from parking lots and so forth all goes through the near shore before it gets to the marine environment. All the shipping goes through the near shore. People love to recreate in the near shore. People love beaches. So there's a lot of pe uh, people that will go and think nothing's nicer than going and walking on the beach or having a picnic on the beach or digging clams on the beach. There's lots of resources on those in the near shore uh, that we value. Clams being one that I think about. And then there's all the sort of the ecological functions in the near shore, things that don't happen anywhere else. There's a whole lot of fish that depend upon that either beach itself or the, or the seaweed band around uh, for spawning or for rearing when they're young or for hiding out or migrating, salmon in particular. So there's a lot of our resources, such as the fish that we like, that really do depend upon the near shore. So it's, it's important.